It's Chris Bottoms here, Southpaw Jab, Team Southpaw Jab member, Satan Morris, after a draw for the British Challenge belt. Mm -hmm. You're clearly devastated with that draw. Absolutely devastated. Talk to us about it, see. Oh, I feel a bit ruined at the minute, mate. Anyone who knows me will know how much the sport means to me and how much uh, winning means to me and how much I put in to get the right results. And uh, to come out there with, without a win, even though it's not a loss, come out there without a win, especially for another title. And uh, it's devastating. I thought, you know, yeah, just, just devastated, mate. Yeah, it was it was a very close fight. Yeah, um, a fight that we felt. Sorry, doctor, come out there to talk to Satan just quickly. Um, mm -hmm. As I was saying, it was a very close fight. Mm -hmm. um, I obviously have uh, Satan Morris cut, uh, tinted glasses on when I'm watching it all, but mm -hmm. I thought you had done enough. Okay. Um, I thought I'd done enough. I felt like I'd done enough when I was in there. I, I definitely thought I controlled the fight with my jab. I mean. I could hardly miss him with my jab, and I just kept pumping it out and was rocking his head back all night long with my jab, you know. I, I couldn't miss with it, and I, I thought I controlled the fight with it, and, um, you know, the first four rounds I thought were mine, clearly. And after that, he came on a bit stronger. He caught me with a couple of good shots, you know. He, he hurt me a couple of times, but, you know, I'm not too big to admit it. I mean, he, he hit me to the body and hurt me to the body. He hit me upstairs, and, you know, he sort of made me think about it, you know, put me on the back foot a little bit, but, you know, I, Recollected my senses, done done what was right, done what was necessary. You know, I got on the move, got back, got back to my boxing, got back on the jab, and I thought, you know, I, I thought I won the fight. I've, at, at, you know, one or two shots landing on me, whether they hurt or not, does not make up for eight, nine, ten jabs hitting him clean, one twos going to the body. You know, I, like I say, one or two shots, no matter how meaningful, if I don't touch the deck, they don't mean nothing. You know, I'm, I'm out boxing them per round. That's what I think. I've still got to watch it back. You know, I, I don't want to sort of sound like a sore loser, even though I didn't lose. You know, I don't want to sound like a sore loser or anything like that. You know, I need to watch it back just to be sure. But I thought I'd done enough. And uh, I know I know, 100% my corner had me up after four rounds. And there's no way in hell, any, in my opinion, anyone can give him the next four rounds. So, I don't know. It's what it is. It was a draw. It is a draw. I've got to deal with it. It's a fact. Okay, so it was a draw mm -hmm. um, over an opponent you had previously beaten. Yeah. Um, but this time it was for a title. Mm -hmm. Would you want to face him again to put that demon to bed? I'll face anyone, whether it be Luke Fash again. To put... There ain't there no demon. To, to me, personally, there's no demon. I mean, I beat him the first time. I beat him that time, in my opinion. Obviously, the ref and their. Uh, the records are going to stay differently. There's no demons, but I mean, if it's a fight that's going to be made again and they make it as one, I'll take with both hands, the same as I will at any fight. You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's Luke Fash or anyone. I approach every every fight the same. Win, progress, get better, move on. That's that's all I have in my mind. Every fight I'm coming, it doesn't matter who it is. So, uh, yeah, whatever. We'll see. See see what happens next. You know. Okay, you just said see what happens next. Um, mm -hmm. With this. I don't want to call it a step back because it is a, it's not a loss, it's yeah. a draw. But because it is, um, all right, it's almost like you've been halted at a red light. Yeah. What do you want next? Whatever my team says best. I mean, I, if I'd have, if, if I'd have come out there and win, you know, if I'd have come out there with that exact same performance, that exact same fight that's just happened, but instead of the ref saying draw, ref said me win, I'd have, I'd have been jubilant by now. I'd have been happy with my performance. I'd have been jumping up and down, I'd have been jumping for joy, saying, right, I really, really would love a shot at the Southern area next. So, should my opinion change just because the ref called it a draw? I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe. Like I said, I need to watch it back. But um, I, just, I just want to do what's best for, for my career. As simple as that. And whatever that may be, I don't know, Mervyn, Mervyn Turner, Graham Everett, and John Fax and Darren Bunn, they'll, they'll sit down, they'll talk to me, they'll discuss it, they'll sort it out. And, We'll, we'll do what's best and okay. I'll, I'll be back in the gym working my ass off to come back better than better than this time like I do every time so. okay um, I always ask this mm -hmm. and it's generally come off the back of a win yeah um, but how did you rate your performance in there personally? honestly obviously like, like I keep saying I need to watch it back but me being in there and what I thought I was doing I was boxing to instruction I thought I'd box to instruction well I didn't didn't waver off the game plan, I didn't get carried away, I got behind my jab, I boxed and I moved. Yeah, he caught me with a couple of shots and he hurt me, but it's boxing. You're gonna get caught with a couple of shots, but the, 
like I keep saying, it's not a hurting competition, it's not a knockout competition, it's a boxing competition. I thought I outboxed him. Convinced, well, consistently outboxed him, shall I say, most rounds. So out of 10, I'd give myself a strong seven, but I need to watch back. I might watch it back and say two. You know, but honestly, whilst I was in there, what I was doing, what I thought, what I felt like, apart from the few shots that, you know, hurt me and I had to sort of bite down a bit and come back from, I, yeah, I, honestly, I'd give myself a seven out of 10. That's just, just honestly how I feel from being in there. But. Do you feel that he's come forward style, he's a relentless come forward style, may have wavered the ref towards him to give it to Possibly, make it a um, it depends on what they like I suppose, you know, whether they like the, the aggressor, the come forward fighter, but I mean, he wasn't, he'd come forward, but because I was moving left to right and kept pumping a jab out, he wasn't really letting his hands go, because he couldn't, I wouldn't let him set himself, I wouldn't stand still to let him get his, to really sort of let his hands go, so yeah, he was coming forward, but I was out manoeuvring him on my feet, you know, and with a constant jab in his face, so I, I thought I outboxed him, you know, as, that's it. I may, maybe his aggressive style did sort of favour towards the judges. You know, maybe, maybe that is what I've done it. But you can be as aggressive as you like. If you're not hitting anything, why does it matter? You know, that's mm. that's that's the idea of the game. Like I say, he did hit me two or three times and hurt me two or three times. But for every two or three times he hit me, I was hitting him with ten jabs. You know, never mind anything else that came off the jab. The work that came off of the jab as well. You know, and but uh, is what like I say, it's no good moaning about it. it. Is what it is. It's happened now. There's a draw there. Done. Okay, so, well, just before we finish, anyone you want to thank? Yeah, of course, always. Um, obviously, all my team, um, Darren Bunn, John Taxon, Graham Everett, Mervyn Turner, my promoter, again, putting on a great show in our, in our city and uh, giving me the opportunity to fight for a title in our city. Again, can't thank them enough. Just gutted I couldn't win it, um, even though I didn't lose. Um, so, yeah, no, I'm thankful for them for all the tireless hours they put in, you know, on one, getting us ready to fight, you know, to our best abilities and bringing us on and two, for getting the shows on in the first place, you know, it's not, nobody sees all the work that goes behind the scenes and uh, I'm thankful for that. All my sponsors, a brilliant team, put so much time and effort, you know, and just bother with me, you know, whether it be a message to see how I'm doing or a message to say, do I need anything, or coming out in, in the numbers to support me. Um, you know, just brilliant, brilliant team of sponsors. I wouldn't be here competing for titles and stuff if it wasn't for them. I wouldn't be able to. And uh, thirdly, everyone out there sitting and with their bums in the seats who have paid their hard-earned cash that they've gone to work for to earn money, and then they've then paid it to come and sit out there and show it for me. It means a massive amount, and um, I'll never be able to thank them enough. Never. Just all I can say is please stick with me. And um, you know, it. I know I've just got a draw, but. I know, I, I can't tell you how badly I know inside me there's something, there's something coming and I'm, I'm going to achieve something, so stick with me and it'll happen, please. Cheers. Oh, brilliant, see, so, well, we'll talk soon. Mm -hmm. um, always Team South by Jab and Team Z. Yeah, no, again, I, I missed you lot out, I'm sorry. Um, it's all right, we're here. No, yeah, no I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> South by Jab, Norwich Boxing, um, Fan Pods, you know, um, Chris Lakey from the Evening News and EDP. Jerry Dawes, um, everyone who comes down and gives us coverage, promotion, everything, getting us out there to more people than we usually would, and you know, just giving us a bit of coverage, making us feel like you know, professional boxers, like we should feel like, because it's what we are. But um, thanks a lot. Cheers. All right, so you take care, and we'll talk soon. Thank you, mate. Cheers.